Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I am excited to be back today with a Bins thrift haul. I love shopping at the Goodwill outlet, AKA the Bins. It is literally my favorite place to go thrifting. I just always find such amazing things in the Bins. A lot of items that end up there are things that either didn't sell at a Goodwill, which isn't usually the case, or just straight donations. If Goodwills get too many donations, they can't actually process it all and some of it goes to the bins. So I honestly find almost always better brands at the bins than I do at a normal Goodwill. So it's so much fun to dig through those bins and I found so many amazing pieces in today's haul. So for everything at my Goodwill outlet, I pay $1.49 per pound. So everything you see here is gonna be right around a dollar per item. So not too shabby, let's jump into the haul. The very first thing that I found in today's haul is something that I was most excited about. I love selling this brand and I could not believe that I found a pair of shoes in the bins. So these are from Eileen Fisher. I love selling Eileen Fisher. It's one of my favorite bread and butter brands to sell that actually goes for a good amount. So I just finished looking these up and these are called the Lee Diorsay Suede Flats, I think is what they're called. And this is in the latte color. So a desirable pair of shoes. They look like they're in excellent condition. I don't even know if they've ever been worn, honestly. I tried these on, they're in a size 10 and they fit pretty well. So here's the bottoms and that's what I'm saying. Like the bottoms look really good. They've only been worn lightly. So such a great pair of shoes. These were originally $135 from Eileen Fisher and the comps looked like I could probably sell these right around $50. So I'll probably put them up between 50 and $65 and then take offers obviously and hopefully make about $50 on that first pair of shoes. So for the shoes, I mean, I'm probably already gonna pay for my entire haul just with this one sale. So I wanted to show you guys these as quickly as possible so that I could get these bad boys up because I think that these are a gorgeous pair of shoes. Like how fun is all this like crisscrossing details? So cute. Also, if the lighting keeps on changing, it is raining outside. So if you can hear anything, it's the rain. But I still wanted to film. I wanted to show you guys what I found. So hang in there with me. So the next piece is something that I have been wanting to try out more of. And I love finding plus size pieces and reselling those for my plus size ladies out there. So I found quite a few torrid items actually in today's haul. And this is the first one. So it's a zip up, just kind of pullover sweatshirt. It has a hood as well, so it's a hoodie, and it's in this camouflage color. And camo is really popular. It has never been my personal like pattern of choice, but I know that a lot of people love it. So we have a camouflage piece from Torrid, and this is in a size four. And a size four is really good from them. I think this might actually be the smallest thing that I picked up from Torrid in this haul. Most everything I found was in a size five, which is great. So that's the first piece, and this is just very stretchy. In great condition, I found all these pieces together. I don't think they're the next pieces I'm about to show you, but stay tuned because there's gonna be more Torrid throughout the haul. And Torrid can sell pretty well. It's a mall brand, but because they have such a niche audience and because it is bigger sizes, they do charge more upfront at their stores, I feel like, than most mall brands. And so the resale on this, I'm assuming maybe around 35 to 50. I haven't sold a lot of Torrid. Honestly, I don't know if I've sold any torrid. So I'm excited to give this brand a try, especially for picking up for such a low cost of goods. Okay, next up is this beautiful coat. I love this. This is a like purple and green colored vintage houndstooth jacket coat. It is so pretty. I love the color scheme on this. I'm gonna bring it real close so you can get a good idea of this color scheme. This is from the brand Leslie Fay. It has these patch pockets on the front, these giant buttons, so beautiful. And this is in a size 12. And it's just a really nice long line kind of jacket. And I think this would look really cute. It's probably originally for somebody to wear like over their dress as they're going to church or something like that. That's definitely the vibe it gives me. But I feel like this could also give you really high fashion fashionista as well such a beautiful piece i love it i think it's really cool so i grabbed that for a, a little bit over a dollar probably for this one based on weight but i mean i think i can probably put this up between 35 and 50 dollars a lot of my vintage pieces i sell around 35 dollars but since this is an over piece like a jacket it might be able to sell it for a little bit more but I decided to pick that up. Okay, now next up is a piece from a brand that I only really pick up in the bins, I think, and that's Calvin Klein. And I do tend to do pretty well with this brand with their outerwear, I should specify. I do not pick up Calvin Klein at a regular thrift store. It 
always gets marked up but I will pick it up in the bins and a lot of times I only will pick up the outerwear unless I'm picking up a piece to take it directly to a buy sell trade store. So I found this black zip up jacket and it's a nice and thicker piece and it has some good details here with the other zipper. And then all of the hardware is actually gold. It's probably hard to tell because the black is gonna wash out the camera, but it's got gold hardware. It's a really nice piece. I think this is cut like a women's extra large and that's what I would take a guess at. And we also have a little gold CK down there at the bottom and you can just tell like it's really thick and high quality. It's a gorgeous piece. And then the back looks like this. Black is always harder to show you guys, but it is a really nice high quality item. Picked it up for around a dollar and I have sold quite a few different puffers and different like wool coats from Calvin Klein recently, all around like 50 to $65. So my guess is I'll probably list this one right around 40 to 50 since it's not an actual coat. It's more of like a jacket and then we'll see how it goes. But I thought that was a nice piece too. Okay, now let's talk about the boots that I picked up because whenever I go to the bins, I always find lots of Ugg boots and I'm happy to pick them up. I love finding Ugg boots. These I found in a direct donation, just a bag that somebody donated. So that was a great find. I'm glad I grabbed that bag when I did because a lot of the Uggs I find in the bins are usually trashed. But these ones look to be in pretty good condition. They are a gray color. They look like they're a smaller size, but they are in good enough condition that they were worth picking up for sure. They don't have any real like holes or anything forming at the sh at the actual toe, which I find a lot in the bins. So these were a good find and these, yep, a size six. So that's about the smallest size that I would willingly pick up in the bins unless I find an amazing brand. Size five just tends to sit for me. So six, that will do. And these have, you know, the nice little gray sheepskin on the interior, great pair of shoes but wrong season, but I pick up every season all year round. <laughs> and then the other pair of boots I picked up are these tiny little baby boots and they're so cute. <laughs> but these are a pair of Sorrel boots. I like selling Sorrel. Some of it sits for me though. I have had a little bit of trouble selling my Sorrel pieces, but I also haven't been really selling like winter boots. So I'm excited to give these a try. Um, these are children's items, but they have really good grip and it has a nice little velcro across the front with the logo on it super cool piece and these are in a size usa 10. size 10 little boy shoes they're so cute green and blue and they're in great condition i am happy i picked those up and then i have a piece of clothing this is probably my favorite piece of clothing in today's haul like i found a lot of good shoes too you can't see those those are on the ground the shoes are popping in today's haul but man this is a beautiful piece i am obsessed with it it is a Lauren Ralph Lauren quilted coat. Look how pretty this is. It's a navy blue with all of these brown leather accents and it is absolutely gorgeous. Quilted things are very popular right now. Hansel, so hot right now, Hansel. I know this was not from this season, but it's a definitely like a popular look. We have all these brown leather details. Absolutely gorgeous. We have the Lauren Ralph Lauren logo on the side. It does have a hood also with the brown leather lining. We have the inside here that will button up, keep you nice and toasty. And then that is what the Lauren Ralph Lauren tag looks like. And again, in a size large, even like the interior fabric, I didn't even zip this. I just buttoned it for you guys. But the, even the interior fabric is just like very luxe looking. It looks like a bridal inside. Like it looks like a riding coat. It's absolutely gorgeous it is stunning and this is what the back looks like it is such a high quality piece like it feels really good so for this i'm thinking at least 50 dollars. i'll have to do some research to see how much this is worth and i'll need to throw it through the wash probably as well but i thought that was a definite yes pickup my guess is right around i'll probably list around 75 maybe 80 and hopefully we'll make probably I'm hoping for at least $60 on this I think it's beautiful enough that I can definitely get that I'm gonna put this in the wash because I just saw that there's a little bit of something sticky like on one sleeve but it's definitely something that will come out I just need to give it a, a wash in the actual washer so again throw that through there but isn't that a beautiful piece okay I have three pieces that I didn't hang up to our children's and I have just one plain t-shirt I'll just run through those real quick I found this and I decided to pick it up I'm pretty sure that this is a Star Wars t-shirt. If you guys are fans, let me know. I picked it up because it does have a vintage Walt Disney World tag on it. So I'm assuming that this is from Star Wars, but that's what the back looks like. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know anything about that, um, let me know down below. That will help me when I go to list it. But then I also found this amazing vintage little knit sweater. It's a little like girl sweater, so cute. It's like a little bouquet of flowers. 
flowers, but they're actually like 3D. Like they're really, really adorable. This is from the brand Rachel's Kids. It's in a size 2T and it's just a gorgeous little knit piece. So that's what the tag looks like and that is the front. Such a pretty pretty little piece so I'm gonna sell that it has a little lace lining on the outside it's so adorable and then the last kids piece that I picked up is this pair of little Levi Strauss overalls and overalls are very popular in general so I thought that these would be a good pickup I like that it has the kind of red white and blue Levi's patch there on the front very patriotic these are the short haul from them so and it's in a size 10 regular so I'm assuming that is a girls size 10 Super cool piece. I really enjoy overalls in general. I thought that was a cute little piece. So I grabbed those for a dollar. Hopefully we can sell those for like 25 maybe. And then next up is a piece um, in a category I enjoy picking up in the bins. And that is kind of more like vintage sportswear. You guys know I pick up quite a bit of these sorts of things in the bins. Usually I have my husband, Jeremy, list these things and take pictures of them. Um, this one is a Penn State piece. And this is a fleece pullover hoodie. And it's in great condition. And it says Nanny Lions on it. it. has some really interesting, like, different coloring. I really enjoy it. And this is from the brand Pro Edge in a size 2XL. So it's a vintage tag, size 2X, really cool piece. For these sorts of things, we'll probably list this around 50 bucks, and then we'll make at least, like, 35 to $40 at the end of the day on it. So definitely worth it, especially for being in the bins. That is also a great find. Okay, now we're getting into some more of those tour pieces I was mentioning. So this one over here is a black short sleeve. It's, it is extremely soft and it's in great condition. This is what the, oh my gosh, this is very hard because it's so like stretchy. This is what the tag looks like. It's very soft, it's a knit. And again, this one is in a size five. I think it's got a slight V-neck there. Very, very stretchy and soft. And then this other t-shirt I have is a light blue, not the same sort of material. This one is not nearly as like stretchy. It's just more of like a cotton material, but this is also from Torrid and this is also in a size five. So light blue color. For both of those t-shirts, I'm wondering if I should bundle them or if I should sell them separately. I think I'm probably just gonna sell them separately and maybe I'll put them up for like 25 each. That's kind of what I was thinking and hoping, but Again, this is my first time selling Torrid, so we'll find out. If you guys are expert Torrid sellers, help a girl out. Let me know what you guys would do with these pieces and how much you would sell them for, and that would be very helpful. <laughs> I think this is the last top from Torrid. I do have another pair of bottoms, but this is a very nice pink sweater, and it has black sleeves and then a black rim to the hem here as well. Really nice piece. I like this kind of blush pink color, a very popular color right now. And again, this one is also in a size five from Torrid. So great size, great piece, nice little sweater. I think that's a really cute piece. So hopefully for this one, I'll be able to sell it around 35 to 50. But again, Torrid, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to find out together, but I'm looking forward to trying it. Okay, I've got some more shoes here. These are the sneakers. I did pick up this pair of Reeboks. These are a flat pair of sneakers. Um, I'm sure these have a specific name. These are their classic, I believe. And then these have just like a lot of red accents on them. They're a super cool pair of tennis shoes. And I do think that these will pretty, I think these should sell pretty well. These are a men's pair of Reeboks and they're in great condition. And these are in a men's size 11 and a half. So men's size 11 and a half pair of white sneakers, really good condition and they're super cool. Heading into the right season, I feel like these are a nice spring shoe. So hopefully we'll get those sold pretty quickly. And then these are the ones that I really like. I think these are adorable. These are a pair of New Balance that are like more floral. They have all these floral details and all of this like pink, very adorable peach coloring all throughout it as well. These are the 530 end cap. And I really, really like these. These are in pretty good condition. They have some wear, but they're still looking pretty good. The size is kind of worn off of them, so I'll have to do some measuring and maybe I'll try them on myself. We'll see what size we're looking at. But I looked up some different comps for these and some different sold listings on Poshmark. And a couple of them had sold for like $35 and $40. So that means I'm probably gonna put mine up for around $40 to $50 to hope to get like $35 for them. So that is what they look like. I just thought those were really cute. And from looking at them, my guess is that they are a size eight and a half or nine. because they're really similar to the size of my foot. 
So I just thought those were adorable. So grab those. Okay, now I'm getting warm. So I'm taking off my jacket and we're gonna sport my Nike shirt that I picked up at Uptown Cheapskate the other day. We love a thrifted look. Okay, then on my next hanger, I have two pairs of pants. So the first one is my last torrid piece, I'm pretty sure. It's this pair of torrid sleepwear pants in this pink and gray plaid pattern. Really soft, really stretchy. And again, size five, they have pockets and an elastic waistband in great condition. Really nice pair of pants. Maybe I'll list those between maybe around 25. That's what I would hope for. And then the other pair of pants I have are these really cute little anthropology pants. And I am feeling these. These have this really fun kind of seaming details around the knees. They are kind of a charcoal, charcoal black color. And these are from the brand Lilka. And I've only found this brand one time before, um, but it is from Anthropology. And these are in a size extra small. So they're a little bit of a smaller size, but they are really nice. We've got those zippered pockets here on the front. They are a pull on pair of pants, which is very popular right now. People want to be comfy. So I thought that was a good pickup. So I grabbed those for about a dollar and I'm thinking for a pair of anthropology pants. I list a lot of my anthropology at $35. So I'll probably just do that for these as well, unless I find out something different about them. Um, but 35 to 40 is probably where those will go up for. And then we have a piece that I put back and that Jeremy told me I should buy. Jeremy is always my like man at home. I text him pictures all day while I'm in the bins. He's working, but usually he'll like look things up for me or just tell me his thoughts, which is really helpful because I go thrifting by myself. Um, and he decided, he said that this would be worth it. So for in the bins, I decided to pick it up and it is this little bathrobe with all of these little scales on it, but it's from Disney. So I got this little Disney bathrobe and it's in a size large slash extra large. I think it's a girl's size definitely, but then it's a little mermaid piece. So the back on here says part of your world. So little mermaid reference, a really cute piece. And in case, well, I totally missed this, but apparently it also has a little mermaid on the front. That makes much more sense. Um, so we have the stitching up here on the front of the Little Mermaid. Sweet little piece. I'm assuming I can sell for around $25 to $35. Disney does really well for me, but since it is a girl's size, we'll see how it goes. Um, at the least, I'll hope to make $25, $20. Bucks. And for being in the bins for a dollar, I think that that should be worth it. And then we have some Ralph Lauren pieces. It would not be a bins haul unless I found some Polo Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren. I already showed you the Lauren Ralph Lauren, but you know, what can you do? This one is the Polo Ralph Lauren Blue Label, which is good, but it's this nice little green waffle knit texture. We have a yellow logo, yellow seaming on the inside, and then this one is in a size extra large. It's a really beautiful green in person. It's more of like a Kelly green, I would say. It's definitely not coming off the right shade, at least on my viewfinder, but it's a really nice long sleeve, kind of a thinner sweater material. Definitely a good pickup, especially for in the bins. I sell Polo Ralph Lauren things like this pretty much all the time for around $25 to $35. So I'll probably list it around there and then we'll hope to make 20 bucks on that. And then we also have this one, which is just a long sleeve shirt. So this one will be worth a little bit less than that one. That one I'll probably list around 35. This one I'll probably list around 25, but it's a nice navy blue, kind of like heathered navy blue with a silvery gray polo. And this one's in a size medium. So the extra large is also a better size. A bigger size will do better, generally speaking. But this piece is really well made, really nice. And so I definitely thought it was worth the pickup for being in the bins. Probably resell it around $25. Okay, two more Ralph Lauren pieces. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I know there's so much, but I am not, actually, why am I apologizing? I like picking it up. You guys can handle it. This is a nice little pullover sweater from Ralph Lauren. And this is also in their blue label, which is good. It's made out of Pima Cotton, which is excellent. Size extra, extra large. So honestly, is that a purple label? It's kind of hard to tell for me. I think it's blue. The coloring is a little off on it, but I think it's blue. We have the blue logo quarter zip pullover, really nice material, very soft. It's like a pinkish undertone to this red. But I think that's a nice pickup. For that one, we'll probably list it around 35 to $50 because it's a sweater and then we'll hope to sell around 35. Piece unlike anything I have found personally, and that is a pair of pants. And they are a pair of chino pants. They might look a little bit like pajama pants on camera, but they're a chino pant, but they are just covered in the Polo Ralph Lauren logo, which I think is really cool. So each one of the little logos is an embroidered feel to it. And then they have a zipper and a button here at the front. 
And these are from Polo Ralph Lauren. And then this is what the back looks like as well. They do have buttons. I just did not button them for this video, but there is a button on top of both of the pockets. And then these are in a size 34, 32. So 34 waist, 32 length. And they are 100% cotton. So really cute pair of pants in my opinion. I have a good feeling. These might be, this logo looks a little bit older. This might be vintage, um, but they're really cool. I think that they're pretty awesome. Like if you were having an office job and you wanted to have something a little bit different, but also still dressy, these are a great option. I think those are interesting. Um, I don't know. I have not sold anything like these before. I don't often find pants that I pick up that are men's and Polo Ralph Lauren. Like it's just a whole set of circumstances that don't normally happen. But I would say I'll probably be able to really sell those for at least like 35, maybe, maybe more depending on what the comps look like, but somewhere between 35 and 50 probably. And then we have this one more piece of clothing and then we have two pairs of shoes. Make sure if you're liking today's video to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed, only about half of you guys watching are subscribed, which is so sad to me because when you hit that subscribe button, that literally is the best way to support my channel. So if you do enjoy the videos that I make, I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button. But the last piece of clothing that I picked up is this really cool vintage coat. It's kind of like a windbreaker material. It's very nylon-y. I just thought it was really interesting with all these crisscrossing like colored I don't even know like little bands I love the color scheme the light teal the black the purple I just thought it was a really cool find I like this a longer coat as well this is from the brand hey band for her and that's a brand I've seen quite a bit it's definitely a vintage brand I don't know if I see a size oh yeah um, so that's what the tag looks like. Such a vintage vibe. And then up here is the size tag. It's a medium. Definitely a vintage medium. Like it does look oversized, um, but it definitely has more of that like wide shoulders, comes into a smaller waist and hip kind of a feel to it. But it's very cool, very interesting. Some really cool person is going to be able to rock this. I imagine this open, kind of like a rocker chick look. But that is a sweet piece. I have sold... A couple of things that are similar to this for around like 40 to 50 dollars so i'll probably list this right around 50 to 65 and then hope to make at least like 40 to 50 on it okay we have two pairs of shoes and i like to say it's something cool for the end so buckle up but this pair of shoes that i found is this really nice pair of blue suede shoes and these are just from steve madden so steve madden my local thrift would definitely have marked these up so much but i decided to grab them in the bins for you know probably about a dollar a piece each one's probably about a pound, but these were in great condition. So I decided to grab them. I like that they're a slip-on style. It's a really good transitional piece. These are the Ezekiel, that's the style name, leather upper. So it is all leather and they're in a size eight. So size eight little women's slip-on. They kind of have a little bit of a platform to them, which I think is fun. I thought those were a nice pickup. And so I'll probably be able to resell these around $25, $35 I put them up for like 35 and then hope to make 25 and then the last pair of shoes I found is a really exciting find because these are a pair of Keen shoes and I have found Keen in the bin a couple times now quite a few times actually but not in a more desirable like style I have a pair on the ground behind me that I need to show you still but they're just like not the cutest but these are cool these are really cute and these I had to look it up again I found out what they're called but I knew I was gonna forget it so this is the Keen Zero Port and they're in the multicolored like tie-dye and I believe that these are a women's. Yes, this is a women's pair. They make the same shoe in men's and women's, but this one is a women's size six. But aren't these so cool? They have this like kind of rainbow tie dye, all these straps going on, but these are from Keen. And then they have that closed toe box, which is really what kind of sets them apart from other shoes like Chacos or things like that. But that's what the bottoms look like. These are in excellent condition. Honestly, they look like they have not been worn very much at all because these are more of like an active kind of lifestyle shoe. Like if you're going to go hiking or doing water sports or doing things like that. So to have them in such good condition is great. And a lot of these were selling for a good amount. I think that this is a more desirable like color scheme. But also I think that this style in general does well. So these were selling for around 50 to $65. So I'll probably be able to put these up around 65, maybe even go up to 75 and hope to make 50 to 60. But I thought those were a really cool find for being in the bins. Heck yeah, I will take those any day. Super cool pair of shoes. I am obsessed and they are in great shape. So that is it for today's bins haul. If you guys like these bins trips, then make sure you let me know. If you guys prefer other types of thrift hauls, let me know 
thumbnail as well. I enjoy making all kinds, but bins, man, the bins are just so good. I hope you guys enjoyed the pieces I found. Let me know for sure what piece down below was your favorite, but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and until the next video, bye.